everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today for our science discovery series, we will be talking about Ohm's Law. Yes, you heard me right. This is a very special episode because this is one of the requests of our subscribers. And I hope that you will be able to learn and you will be able to understand more what is Ohm's Law by watching this video. Before anything else, please do not forget, if you are new to my channel, subscribe it and click that notification bell so that you will know when the next science discovery episode be released. All right, so before we go to the different examples later, first let's unlock the key terms in our Ohm's Law. So we have three key terms. We have voltage, current, and resistance. So what is current? Current is the electrical charge or the electricity flowing in your circuit. While voltage is the electric pressure or the, uh, the potential difference or the electric, electrical potential of your circuit. So that's the pressure pushing your electricity. While resistance from the word resist. So it's the opposition of whatever is flowing, it's going in opposition to it. All right, so let's use this analogy for voltage, current, and resistance. Let's say this is your current. So, and this tie is our resistance. This is a hair tie. And my pointing finger will be our voltage. So if our voltage is strong and our resistance is held constant or it's not that strong, if this is stronger than our resistance, the flow of our current will also be increasing and is greater or bigger again if our voltage is so strong over our resistance the flow of our current will be increasing as well but if our resistance is so strong let's put more pressure in it okay let's tie it so it's too strong i'll push my current push with my voltage to my current so the flow is there very less so as your resistance increase your current decrease but as your voltage increase your current increases as well so that is the analogy or the relationship of our voltage current and resistance and for you to remember it VIR a very important reading so this is very important, okay? So let's go to our whiteboard and give you more examples about voltage, current, and resistance, or basically our Ohm's law. Resistance is what ties together the amount of voltage you apply to the current you actually get. One equation ties voltage, current, and resistance together is V equals IR, where V is our voltage, I is current, which is in amperes, and R is our resistance, which is in ohms, or in the Greek letter omega. Now looking at this picture, you can now have a better idea of the relationship between voltage, current, and ampere. The idea that current is coming out of the battery depends on the voltage and the resistance of the circuit. The stronger the voltage would be, the higher would be our current. The stronger our resistance would be, the lower would be our current. Now let's take a look at the formula for Ohm's law. Voltage is equal to the current times the resistance. If I'm looking for the current, it would be V over R. If I'm looking for the resistance, it would be V over I. And of course, finding the voltage will be IR. Now let's go to our examples. A light bulb has a resistance of 240 ohms. Find the current when placed in a 120 voltage circuit. Looking at the formula, it will be I equals V over R. 
our voltage for this example is 120 V over the resistance would be 240 ohms. Therefore, the current flow is 0 0.5 amperes. Another example, the current in the coil of an 8 ohms loudspeaker is 0 0.5 ampere. Find the voltage across its terminals. Therefore, voltage is equal to IR. Substituting the value, our current is 0 0.5 ampere times 8 ohms. Therefore, the voltage would be 4 volts. Another example. Find the resistance in a circuit that has a voltage of 120 and a current of 4 ampere. Looking at the example, the formula that we need to use would be R equals V over I. Substituting the values, our voltage is 120 volts and of course, our current is 4 amperes. 120 divided by 4 will be 30, and the measure or the unit will be in ohms. Now let's take a look at one example of a series circuit. Now in a series circuit, uh, we also apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law for both series and parallel. When going through the circuit, the voltage actually adds up to zero. So for this question, or for this example, a 120 volt series circuit is shown in the diagram. Find the current passing through and the voltage across each resistor in the circuit if R1 is 10 ohms and R2 is 20 ohms. So going back to the question, find the current passing through and the voltage across. The current would be I total equals I1 equals I2. That means the current across will be the same. Therefore, we can solve the current as V total over resistance total. So we need to add 10 plus 20, which would give, give us 30 ohms. So V total is 120 volts over R total, which is 30 ohms. Therefore, the current is 4 amperes. The second part of the question is finding the voltage across each resistor. So the first resistor will have a voltage of VIR formula, 4 times 10, which is 40 volts. And the second resistor will have the formula for IR again. So that will be 4 times 20, which is 80 volts. Now, if you would notice here that our voltage adds up to 120. That is what we meant by Kirchhoff's voltage law. Now, let's take a look at a parallel circuit. A 30 ohms resistor and a 60 ohms resistor are connected in a parallel circuit. So this is 30 and this is 60. Find the voltage and the current for each resistor. Now in a parallel circuit, the current adds up. That means in each part, when it passes through this point, it splits to two resistors. But of course, when it comes out, it will be the same. And of course, our voltage will be the same across our circuit. So finding the voltage and the current would be voltage is the same across our circuit. So therefore, voltage would be the same for each resistor, which is 120. The current for the first resistor will be V1 over R1, which is 120 over 30, which is 4 amperes. 
and the current for the second resistor will be V2 over R2, which is 120 over 60, that is 2 amperes. Therefore, the current passing through here is 4 amperes, and the current passing through here is 2 amperes. The second part of the question is find the total resistance and total current for the circuit as a whole. Again, our first resistor has 30 ohms, our second resistor has 60 ohms, and our voltage is 120 across. And of course, our current flow here is 4 amperes and 2 amperes. The question states total resistance and the total current. The total current would be I total is 4 amperes plus 2 amperes, which is 6 amperes. Now the total resistance, we can either use this formula or not. And I would suggest, if you cannot remember this formula, IR equals 1 over R and 1 over R2, I'd rather let you use R total equals V total over your I total. So our total voltage is 120 volts. And our current, our total current, is 6 amperes. Therefore, our total resistance would be 20 ohms. Now, this will be the same value even if I use this formula. And this is easier to use than the fraction form. So, to find the resistance, the total resistance of a parallel circuit would be V total over I total. Three, two,